Okay, about the robot control panel on the front, you have your motors on button, which flashes when the motor sits idle for, the robot sits idle for a little while. You have your motors off push button. This is the start button, so when the machine would be in playback mode, which is automatic, you would push the start button to start the program. Stop would stop the program. Of course, you have your emergency stop. If there's anything or any danger situation that goes on, or if you're in the work cell working on a robot or somebody's near it, please push in the emergency stop button. Twist it, release it. Now we have constant setting, and in constant you can change the robot coordinates, different menu items that it can do, when to turn things on and off, change the calibration of the robot, the encoder correction. The edit function is for editing files. You can copy files from the floppy to the hard drive or copy from the hard drive to the floppy. You can delete items. Teach is where you teach the robot the program. So you move it around to position, you push record, you move it around to position, you push record, you put in the M files, M codes, and I codes. And then when you're all done, if you step go, step go, and step back through the program with the teach menu, then you put the machine into playback, and as long as the work cell gates are closed and limit switches and all the interlocks are made and there's no one in the area that would be hurt, then you would put it, push the start button and the robot would move. The motors would have to be on, push the start button, and the robot would move. Now, if you get an error code when you boot up, how you reset the error code is always push the reset zero clears the error code unless it's a uh, if it's a minor error if it's a major error it won't clear the code also too if your screen becomes cluttered with different stuff To re clear the screen out, push reset, zero, set. Now remember that when you're in the condition, condition modify screen, when you go to condition modify, and if you go up and you can edit, you know, your time, your speed, up in the screen, your position, your accuracy, to get back out of that, you have to push Condition Modify again for it to save your changes. If you just switch from Playback to Auto, it wouldn't save your changes. Now remember, when you're hooking up the robot as well, all these cables down here are labeled. CNR4, CNR2, CNR1A, and CNR1. Make sure that you plug the cables correct spot. They're not keyed so you can't unplug them. You have to carefully look at the labels on there. Alright? If you plug them into the wrong port, you'll burn out the amplifier. You'll short circuit it. So make sure that you plug in the female plugs to the proper spot and the proper labels. The ones that are easy to get mixed up are CNRO1A and CNRO1. Make sure they're plugged in properly. don't come with a filter on the back, but it's pretty easy to fabricate a filter frame onto the back of the machine. Just use a standard furnace filter to keep all your fans clean. It's a good idea to do that. It's a nice quick fix. Inside of the box, we have all of our I.O. is along this inside door. Machines have different um, setups for the I.O. as well too. You have the main power supply and the main transformer and then you have the amplifier here in the middle. Your main CPU rack up there. There's two batteries. The batteries should be changed in there once every one to two years. This interface strip down here on the bottom 
is where your e-stop and your safety plug and your safety mat external e-stop are all hooked up at you tie in for your work cell and underneath this controller we have our floppy drive for backing up files with a Nachi AR controller now remember on the back of the teach pendant there is a dead man switch and that's a safety you have to pull that in just one side or the other while you're moving the robot up and down or stepping through the program. 